Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt. In this video, we're gonna show you how to assemble the pedestal that comes with your brand new LG C1 Series OLED. We're using the one that comes with the 65 inch version for this particular video. The other sizes will be very similar to what we're showing you here. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you've got all the right parts. You need the flat piece that's actually gonna be at the front of the TV when the assembly's complete. You need the big back piece that is very heavy um, for the back and then you have seven screws that are gonna come in a little package inside the box as well. You'll also want a Phillips head screwdriver, which does not come in the box, so make sure you have one of those handy. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually turn the big heavy base piece over like this. So it's being supported by this plastic piece. Then what you're gonna do is take the long flat piece and also spin it and flip it over so everything's upside down. And there's gonna be a notch here in the middle that this is gonna fit into. And you're, you have three screw holes here that are gonna align with three on the bottom of the base. So once you have that slid in there, it'll kind of lock into place. It takes a little bit of work to get it in there, so just be patient and kind of angle it up and it'll just slide right into place. And then if you're standing behind it like I am here, you'll be able to see when the holes match up and then you're gonna take three of your screws and just going from any direction you choose. And once those are all tightened in there, you can turn the whole assembly back over and it should stay together for you. And then you're gonna take this to the back of the TV and there are four more screw holes in the, in the top plate here on the pedestal. And you're gonna use the remaining four screws that you have from that package to go straight through the back and into the TV, which we'll show you here in just a second. So you'll notice at the top of the piece that's gonna go on the back of the TV that there's two little notches that point up. Those are going to fit right into here. And as long as you line those up, you can kind of slide it into place. And then here are the screw holes that you're gonna to want to make sure line up with the back of the plate that's on the pedestal. So as you can see in this shot, when the plate is on there correctly, the screw holes will match up. And those little notches on the top of the pedestal piece don't go all the way into those holes, but they go in enough to hold the pedestal in place. Okay, now we just have to put the last four screws into the back here. And once those are all tightened down, we do have that one little back plate that we can use to cover up the back of the pedestal. All right, so here we have the TV all set up on the pedestal. So this is what it's going to look like when it's fully assembled. As you can see, you don't see much of it on the front there. That back piece is heavy, so when you're taking it out of the box, make sure you keep that in mind because if you're trying to pick it up with one hand, it could slip, so just keep that in mind. But otherwise, it looks great, it's really low profile, it's got a nice sort of metallic texture to it, and that's pretty much all you can ask for from a pedestal, it holds the TV really steady. Thanks for watching as always, and we will see you in the next one.